right, we have an interesting one for you guys today. For the first time ever in my blood work history, I had supraphysiological levels of total testosterone. But I need to make a huge, massive disclaimer for people that will not stick around to the end of the video, that this number is not something that without other numbers in place is to be chased in the manner that I got this number, okay? Yes, I'm so glad that somebody like TNF, who's an honest man with a big following, is bringing more attention to this issue. I've been trying to educate people on this topic for a very long time and warning them to be very careful of other creators who fall into the same category, but betray their numbers as a good thing and something to be sought after so that you pay them a lot of money to teach them the ways. What I'm talking about is what Joel explained in his video as to the reason why his total testosterone is so high is because his SHBG is also extremely high. This means that his free testosterone in comparison is not nearly as high, which we see it came back at around 13.1 nanograms per deciliter or just under the 1% mark. Not low by any means, just not as insanely high when comparing it to his total. The normal typical reference range for free tests is typically 1 to 3% of their total, with most guys being able to hit the optimal mark of 2%. There are a handful of other creators who have a similar issue, but only ever show their total. So a bunch of guys think that these extremely high total testosterone levels is a good thing, but it couldn't be further from the truth. The natural limit for the vast majority of guys is around 1100 nanograms per deciliter. Once you start hitting the 13, 14, 1500s, it's typically a sign that something is off. And yes, there are nuances to this, especially when talking about the different testing methods used. But like I said, 99% of the time, it's typically not a good thing. So hats off to Joel for being a good, honest man, truly.